IBM achieved a world's first. By using a classical real-time link, IBM connected two 127 qubit Eagle KPUs to run the same algorithm, thus demonstrating practical multiprocessor quantum computing. This setup using 142 qubits exceeds the capacity of a single QPU, marking a step towards scalable quantum systems. IBM envisions a future where quantum processors operate like classical multiprocessor systems, but what are the real advantages of QPUs and are they better than classical computers? In this episode, we shine the spotlight on both in a comparison. Stay tuned. First, let's examine how both classical and quantum computers operate. Classical computers rely on deterministic computing using MOSFETs that function as on-off switches to perform exact computations through logic gates and flip-flops etched in silicon. The results are absolute and binary, either correct or incorrect. In contrast, quantum computers operate with qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows for probabilistic computing where results are based on the most likely outcome rather than certainty. Qubits are manipulated with microwaves and require extreme cooling near absolute zero, presenting unique challenges in scaling quantum systems compared to the more straightforward silicon-based architecture of digital computers. Okay, so now that we've defined classical and quantum computers, let's examine some of the advantages and disadvantages of quantum computers. Quantum computers offer significant advantages, such as the ability to solve complex problems like factorization and optimization exponentially faster than classical computers. Also, their parallel processing capabilities allow qubits to exist in multiple states simultaneously, enabling many calculations at once. Another big advantage is that quantum systems excel at simulating molecular and quantum level interactions that are impractical for classical computers. Those quantum interactions enable breakthroughs in areas like drug discovery, material science, and energy optimization. So those are some massively important benefits, but there are some downsides. One big disadvantage to quantum computers is it's too human, meaning it doesn't always get things right. They have higher error rates. That's because qubits are fragile and prone to errors from environmental interference. That means they require complex error correction methods. Expanding the number of qubits while maintaining stability and coherence is difficult as well, and that limits large-scale applications. They're also pricey. That's in part due to them needing specialized environments such as extreme cooling near absolute zero. So not only are they costly, but they're also difficult to maintain. Despite these current disadvantages, are QPUs destined to become the computer of the future? Before we dive into that, let's check out our featured product spotlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Texas Instruments DP83TG721Q1 is a 1000 base T1 Ethernet PHY transceiver. It handles all physical layer functions needed to transmit and receive data over unshielded or shielded single twisted pair cables. It's IEEE 802.3BP 1000 base T1 compliant and offers numerous Ethernet interfaces. Standout features include low power sleep to reduce energy use, advanced diagnostics, and real-time monitoring tools. It also provides precise time synchronization, enabling accurate media clocks and audio interfaces. Pin compatibility with TI's 100 base T1 PHYs allows scalable designs for telematics, ADOS, and in-vehicle networks. To learn more about this cutting edge transceiver, head over to mauser.com or click the link in the description. Quantum computers are poised to revolutionize computing, but are they likely to replace classical systems entirely? Um, probably not. More realistically, they will complement traditional computers by tackling problems that classical machines struggle to solve efficiently. 
Quantum computers excel at complex simulations, optimizations, and cryptography with potential breakthroughs in fields like drug discovery, material science, and AI. However, their application remains limited to specific areas, while classical computers handle most everyday tasks. The future likely lies in a hybrid system that combines the strengths of both quantum and classical computing. But the glorious thing about engineering is someone often comes along to make us tea leaf readers look foolish. Hey, my time's up. Be sure to click the video link on your screen to stay educated. And until next time, keep those ideas sparking.